pick a screen, grab a cam, and blaze the web. This is going to be dedicated to the fans of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And this is actually a confession. A confession to all the fans out there. And what I want to say is, I have some thoughts on a particular episode. The final episode of Season 2. The two-part season finale of Season 2. I, unlike so many other fans, did not think that the Carolot winning special was all that good. I didn't think so. I saw a lot of flaws in the episode. I didn't think that, despite all of the achievements that the episode made, was not one of the show's crowning achievements in all of its history. So I was a bit disappointed with the episode, and I think that the lesson of the Canterlot winning episode is that it was a prime example of style over substance. And it makes total sense why the creators behind the show, or more specifically, the marketers behind the Canterlot winning special, decided to let the episode have this specific type of presentation to it. And the reason was, was that they wanted to jump on the golden opportunity that was the real life wedding event that was going on in England between the marriage of Prince William and Princess Kate. And it makes total sense why they would do that. Because it seems like royal weddings on such a grand scale as the one that happened between Prince William and Prince Kate, Princess Kate seems to always capture the fancy imagination of people everywhere. And so marketing people, when they see that magic royal weddings are in the air, that is their opportunity to tie their shows, their products to a particular event because they think that, well, if we have something royal, something royal-like tied to our shows, our products, our merchandise, then people are automatically going to go and flock to our products and shows and TVs because anything with the royal name tag on it is going to draw crowds immediately because they have royal wedding fever on the mind. And that just makes me question the whole credibility of the episode itself. I say that as a concerned fan. Does that mean that the Royal Canalot winning episode is completely dependent on a moment in popular culture than it is on the artistic merit of the writers, actors, and visual artists of the show itself? Well, I think that that would actually be put up as a very good argument, and I would always stand behind that argument no matter what anybody else would say. And that also, that also brings into question the introduction, the shoehorn introduction of the two newest characters that entered the My Little Pony universe when the Royal Canalot episode came out. And that was the introduction of Shining Armor and Princess Cadis, re respectively played by Andrew Francis and Britt McKill. Now, the thing that comes to mind when it comes to these two actors is just how much their credibility must be after being on a show like My Little Pony, Friend of His Magic. I mean, with the kind of exposure that the show has been given ever since it ever came out, their credibility and their reference sheet as actors must have had gone through the roof after they appeared on this episode. I mean, if they weren't big names before they did this, they sure are now. And that also makes me think, because they came on this show and now they've become established names in the French of His Magic community, it makes me wonder if they have not done a favor for the Prince and Princess of England, the young couple of England, ever since they appeared on this show. Because 
they owe such a big debt for the existence of Prince William and Princess Kate and for them to actually go down the aisle. And to me, I think that ever since Andrew Francis and Britt McKip appeared on My Little Pony, Friends of His Magic, in the Carolot winning special episode as Shiny Armor and Princess Cadis, they, ever since that day, have been signing royalty check after royalty check after royalty check to the young prince and princess of England. They owe that much of death to the existence of this young British couple. The death is that big. Yes, it is. And that also brings to mind an idea for the upcoming fourth season of My Little Pony. This is to the writers of My Little Pony who are working on the fourth season. If you ever come across writer's block, if you, if you can't come up with a story, you can always go back to your royal wedding grab bag. And since Prince William and Prince Kate have had a newborn baby, why shouldn't Shining Armor and Princess Cadis also have a newborn on the way as well? It makes all the sense in the world. And besides, I think that that would really boost <laughs> the public relation and credibility of the royal baby that has just been born to this world if he got his own Doppelganger episode, which features a pointified version of himself. I think that would be a great present for the newborn royal prince. And it also... This also makes me think as well that because, well, if they haven't established relations between the two parties already, then I have no doubt that being native Canadians, Andrew Francis and Britt McKip have not only been paying a good amount of tax to their queen who lives across the sea, they have now been paying an extra special tax out of their pockets so that it will go over to the royal family and most likely end up in the pockets of the royal couple that they will spend on their new royal baby so that the baby will have all that it needs in order to have a healthy and happy life as a newborn royal. Although I do have doubt about that because when the money does get transferred from the pockets of Brett McKip and Andrew Francis, will it go over to the pockets of the royal couple? Will it go to the pocket of the queen? Or, and this is just my idea, I think that it will actually end up in the hands of the powerful figures in Parliament. And if it does end up in Parliament, then that little bit of extra cash is going to be in serious question because will it be given to the royal family and for whatever needs they need or will it be actually contributed to the English economy? Maybe the whole economy of the UK. Who knows? Actually, we won't find out until we see the next live coverage of Parliament on C-SPAN. And I'm going to make sure I turn into that because it's going to be really interesting to see what the main members of Parliament have to say about the extra tax dollars of Britt McKip and Andrew Francis.